I don't want you to refer to the Constitution. I want you to refer to your heart. Have you become this heartless, Mr. President? Have you become this heartless to a sense that your deputy president is sick, but you're still fighting him down? Mr. President, we helped you, we fought for you to become president. We never knew that you'll become this man who does not care about his friends. You had the opportunity to even talk to the Senate because they have up to Saturday. But you decided to fight a sick person. You decided you'll be the last person who will kill the aspirations of our deputy president. We want to tell you, we leave you to God. We are here. The family is here crying. As friends, we are here empathizing with the deputy president. But you are not being moved. The person who was stripped off his cloth before his family to make you president is now here at Karen Hospital, sick, but you're still fighting him down. What kind of a human being are you, Mr. President? What heart are you made of, Mr. President? We are very disheartened. We are very disappointed in you. But we want to tell you, we will leave you to God. You have all the powers right now. You have everything that is within your powers to ensure that you bring down a truthful man. But you cannot control God. We have a lot of confidence in our judiciary. We will have our day in court. And we believe that we are going to emerge victorious. We want to ask our supporters to remain hopeful that this is not a fight for the faint-hearted. We are here to ensure that we win this fight. We will win against this impunity. And we want to ensure our, our supporters that the deputy president will be back on his feet and he will be back in high spirit. And I want to assure Kenyans that Rigadi Gashagwa will be deputy president up to 2027. Watch this person. Uh -huh.